Today I'm going to teach you how to use the manual settings on your camera, whether it's a drone, a professional camera, a GoPro, or even a smartphone. It's going to be really quick and simple. Now you need to know three things, ISO, aperture or f-stop, and shutter speed. Now let's talk about ISO. I can't physically show you it because it's not a physical thing. It is basically your camera's sensitivity to light, so the light coming through the lens, hitting your sensor. I normally have it at ISO 100, so you don't have any noise or grain in your image. The higher you go, the more noise will become apparent. Let me show you some examples. This is ISO 100, 200, 400, 800, 1600, 3200, 6400, 12800, 25600, 51200, 102400. Now, as you see, the higher the ISO goes, the more grain the image produces, but the more you can see into the dark. The more expensive your camera is, the less you're going to notice that green because the more money you pay, basically, the better it is in low light, the better it is at ISO 6400 and above. Aperture. Now, aperture is physical and it is basically the opening of the lens which lets light through hitting your sensor. I can show you what it looks like, so check this out. This is right there, that little hole. That's f22, that is f1.4. So the smaller the hole gets, the larger the number. Aperture is an artistic choice. So if you want the model's eyes just to be in focus, you're gonna choose f1.4. If you want everything to be in focus, you're gonna choose f22, and even the background is gonna be in focus. Let me show you some examples. This is f1.8, 2.8, 4, 5.6, 8, 11, 16, 22. So as you can see, as the aperture increases and the actual hole gets smaller, you can see small, you can see small, you can see more into the background. Let's talk about shutter speed. So shutter speed is also an artistic choice and it's very important. It's the thing that if you have it really, really low, you're gonna have really blurred images. And if you have it really, really high, everything's gonna be incredibly sharp. Check out these images. This is shutter speed, 1,000, 500, 250, 125, 60, 30, 15, 8, 1. So as you can see, that ball bouncing around that little spaceman, as the shutter speed got lower and lower, it became more blurred. Now the shutter speed, I can also physically show you what it looks like. This right here is shutter speed 1 to 5. Right there. And let's get down to say 1 second. This will be 1 second. So shutter speed is basically the amount of time your shutter is up allowing the light to hit your sensor. Once again, an artistic choice because if you want your image to be blurry, then you'll have it open a lot longer. If you want it to be really sharp, like someone's jumping in the air and they're frozen, you're gonna have it at like 1,000 or 2,000. They are fractions of a second, so you have one second and 1,000 is 1,000th of a second. So aperture and shutter speed can be used to get artistic looks, different styles. Your ISO is best to keep it low and bump it up. Now, I, first of all, the first thing I will do is I'll shet, shet? I'll, sh <laughs> I'll set ISO at ISO 100. Then I'm gonna think, right, if I want a really arty farty portrait, I'm gonna set it at 1.8. And then I'm gonna use my shutter speed to get the right exposure. If I want a car that's moving and I'm gonna leave these light trails, I'm gonna have my shutter speed at say, one second, and I'm gonna change my exposure with the aperture and the ISO. So you have to use all three of these together to get certain looks. If you have any questions at all about these three fundamental elements that control the manual settings in your camera, drop them below. If you want, give me a like and subscribe for more cool stuff.